Hey guys, in today's video, Jeremy is gonna show you um, the beginning stages of building a barn door for our house. Um, we got this plan on YouTube and I'll put a link in the description for the original plan. Um, and he's gonna go through just putting the door together today. And in the next couple of videos, um, will be some puttying and sanding and staining and all of those things all the way through until we hang it in our house. But today's video is just putting it together. I was sick while he was doing this, so it's just him by himself. Uh, and he tries to walk you through everything that you need to know if you want to build one yourself. Our door frame is kind of unusual size and he'll talk about that. He's going to show you all the supplies that you need that he's going to use. And I'm going to try to link everything in the description that we use for this project. So I hope you enjoyed this video. today we have wanted to put a barn door in the uh, in the foyer in our house variety of reasons airflow our laundry is in the middle of the house as well and, um, and so today I've been tasked with uh, putting together a barn door um, got out all of our parts and pieces that we need I've went ahead and cut the Cut the wood. I've got it stacked up over here. Um, really, I'm laying it out here to let you know tools I'm using. Um, these are all the ones I can think of offhand that we're gonna be using through the project. Um, a lot of these things I've either never used or used only once. Uh, so I don't for a minute claim to be an expert. Um, and I'm sure there's some quality tools that are out there that would probably perform better than these uh, but I'll let you know kind of where I got most of my stuff uh, I'm a frequent shopper at Harbor Freight obviously their prices are a little lower um, I, I bought the miter saw this is a 10 inch uh, we cut 10 inch and 12 inch boards so I did have to flip those over uh, to cut both sides which wasn't the end of the world also I bought the hardware for my pipe clamp. This is a Pittsburgh. I bought the hardware at Harbor Freight, but I did buy the pipe at Lowe's. Um, and it's, uh, I'm anxious to see how well it performs. Uh, we're using a, a Stain Honey 272 polyurethane wood, wood filler, wood glue, and some wood screws. Um, I did buy these clamps. Uh, the verdict is still out on these clamps. I bought these at Harbor Freight. Uh, I have seen Irwin's work really well, but it was tough to beat the price of these. So we're gonna see if these will do the trick for us today. We'll decide if, uh, if we need to get anything more. Um, I don't anticipate to be staining anything today. My hope is to get it glued together, screwed together and put together so that when the time comes, we can, we can stain everything. So. Like I said earlier, the, uh, the main reason we were doing this is so that we could block off the central point of the, the house. Our laundry, well, for you guys that don't know, we have a two-story A-frame house, and our laundry is in the center of the house. And so, with that being said, you can hear the laundry in every area. When we bought the house, we it was a two bedroom, two bath house. We have since added a bedroom and a bath upstairs. It was just an open, I don't know, open floor plan upstairs. So, um, and so Claire and I moved upstairs and we also added an air intake upstairs. So when we did that, it allowed us to almost create two totally different uh, living quarters um, and so we're trying to work towards having upstairs and downstairs kind of be independent of itself and also with us 
working on the farm here a lot, we use coveralls, overalls and stuff. And so if any of you guys have ever washed overalls and coveralls, they can get real loud and um, can be difficult. So can be loud, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, what we're doing here, we're gonna stack all these up. This wood is very twisted, warped, bowed, all the things you don't want out of a piece of wood. Uh, and I kind of did that by design because I'm hoping to try and use some of the tools that I've never used. You can see this one here is extremely bowed. Um, but my hope is, is that we, uh, through this, I can kind of learn a little bit. <sighs> Try not to get all this sawdust. And see if we can get it to look like a board, at, uh, like a door at the end of the day, so. The, uh, the design of this, we did not design it ourselves per se. We used, uh, and we'll put a link to the, to the video we used kind of as a guide. We had to make ours a little wider than the person who we uh, learned from uh, because of the, the doorway size on ours was a little wider. The original plan had called for <clears throat> five uh, two by eights and and you can see there's three two by eights here in the center and so to accommodate the width of our door frame we added two by tens on the outside uh, to make it just a little wider um, but because of that uh, we had to adjust a little bit of our center pieces um, and uh, I'll kind of lay it out here and so you can kind of get an idea of we're looking at. It's going to be roughly 40 inches wide. Um, and it's 80, the wood is cut 84 inches tall. Um, our doorway is about 82, but it is a barn door. Uh, and this piece being so wide, the decorative piece will still fall below. And we're kind of building it backwards. Most people would put the barn door on the open side. Hopefully we will, when we show you when we are hanging the door, um, we'll show you why we have to do it the way we do. But the front of the door, you can kind of see the, where we're headed with this. Um, the front of the door will be facing the living room area. And so, um, this is the frame. We're also going to add the barn door uh, X on the bottom. You can see I have that piece of wood there. Uh, we'll do that after we get the board, uh, the door pinched together, tied together, screwed down, and glued. That way we it doesn't move on us. Um, and so this wood is uh, we picked up just at your local hardware store. Uh, this is white wood. Everyone says white wood's good for cabinets and doors, and so we'll see if that turns out to be true. We did buy pre-stain, and then you saw the stain and the polyurethane that's going to go on top of it. If you don't know why it's important to pre-stain, um, if I have time, I'll show you, or at least put a link to some of the videos out there. It's given this wood is the way it is. It's extremely porous. If you do not pre-stain, it will get splotchy. Um, I'm going to try to do a couple pieces of, of cut wood that I have stacked over here uh, before I go stain in the door so that uh, we can tell the difference. So, so you can see now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but um, this wood is as warped and bowed as you can imagine. Um, so what we're gonna try to do is work it together to try to get this to be all one piece and uh, in good standing here. And if you guys find something that I can improve on, I'm not against learning. Um, 
So put the uh, put your comments in the description below, and I'll be happy to uh, to take any notes. Um, so we'll start on the bottom down here. We are going to use wood glue, and we're going to use wood screws. We're going to use eight by one and a quarter. The hope is, is that if you can see, we'll go into the wood, but we won't go all the way through the other side. We did buy wood filler to go along with it. So first thing we're going to do is try to wood glue down um, these boards using tight bond original wood glue. Uh, this is for interior use. <laughs> Uh, the reason I bought this is the other one said fast dry and there's nothing fast about me. So I wanted to be sure that it, I don't mind taking my time and I didn't want to put it down there and then feel like I needed to be in a hurry. So Let's get our clamp here. So far so good on the clamps. They seem to be holding pretty strong. I'm trying to get some, keep some cement symmetry. Okay, so I just split the board. I don't think that's gonna be the end of the world, but I don't like that. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened there. These screws say no pre-drilling, but well, that's got me a little worried. I have the drill to do it. Okay, so we have our outside frame done. What we're gonna do now is we're going to use our pipe clamp to try to take all these boards and make it all one piece. And like I said, this will be the first time I've used the pipe clamp. So we'll see if it holds up. So the way this pipe clamp works, if you don't know, this side slides with this, and then it tightens. And I may have to use my clamps as well, but you can see just by tightening this. Okay, so now you can see it's not up and down like it should be, but we're clamping on the sides. And I only have two clamps, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we got here. Okay, so I would say that's pretty good. And I'm gonna pre-drill this time. I'm not gonna play around. does go all the way through so we don't have stay so I feel really good about that so let's do the same thing over there and we'll do the middle last again I don't know if that's the right way to do it but we'll just do it that way if it's not the right way let me know because unfortunately I'm going to learn the hard way here where you can really see how far apart these boards are now that we've flattened that so that clamp's really going to come in handy this time. slide to the end of the table here 
so my clamps can work. Once I get this set, we will try to, oh yeah, you can see how we're tightening now. So what we'll do is we'll tighten one side. Well, this clamp works really well. Works really well. All right, so let's see. That looks really good. We'll see. Yeah, it should hold together. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is, since I've got this built, I'm gonna take this one by four, and I'm gonna create the X. I'm gonna cut these pieces. All right, so I've cut out the pieces. What I did is I've got one solid piece here, and I've got these two separate pieces. Um, that was a bit of a learning experience. My uh, miter or chop saw um, It worked But this This moves around on you a lot if it's not you see that it only latches every once in a while and so getting those To uh, work was a little harder than it should have been so uh, what I'm gonna do now is um, 
wood glue this stuff down and then uh, try and screw it down. So. Again, I can fix it. Of course, it has to be on the very last screw of the day. I'll go down here and see if it'll fix it. Yeah, it's better. So I'll just have to wood glue that one. Filler. Okay. All in all, guys, I think it, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm anxious to get some stain and um, really start to finish it out. Uh, in recap, um, a good miter saw could go a long way. I've just got a 10 inch, like I said, and it's a Harbor Freight. It worked to do the job, but if you've got a DeWalt or something, I'm sure it would be a little easier. If you have any thoughts or ideas or notice I've done something wrong or whatever it is, just let me know. See if we can't get to where we can't hang this thing up, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of the first stages of putting this barn door together. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Um, he definitely wants to know if there's something he could do differently that would make it easier and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the little notification bell so that you know every time we put out a new video so that you can not miss out on the next steps in this barn door. See you guys later.